So this is from experience. I know some of you don't like to follow directions and you're just going to want to go for it. But um, believe me, there, there is, a, there is a, a method to this madness and this just will help get everything stuck down evenly and, uh, and make sure that it it's lasts for the long term. Hey guys, I'm Scott with Trail Power and today I want to introduce you to a brand new product. This is our Trail Power Hoodie 120. It's a 120 watt flexible solar panel that has been custom tailored to fit on the hood of the Lexus GX470 and also the Land Cruiser Prado 120. We're super excited about this product because we as Overlanders felt the need for this to be able to have a panel that is always out in the sun and always keeping those batteries topped off wherever we're at as long as the sun is shining. Uh, that gives us a lot of flexibility when we're overlanding to be able to go off to remote locations off the grid and stay for multiple days, not have to run the engine and consume fuel, and to know that our batteries are always going to be getting topped off, um, whether we're running a fridge, whether we're recharging batteries uh, in, in phones or cameras, uh, or running lighting at night. It's just an awesome way to give you uh, extended runtime on your vehicle and let you stay away longer. Uh, it's also really cool to be in town and to do a Costco run and to have a fridge running in the back and to know um, that you can load all of your food in there and that it's going to um, not run down your battery while you're parked or to go to youth sports and to be able to have uh, cold drinks and fresh food for your kids at soccer. Um, just awesome to have, once you have a fridge, um, you never go back. And so having a solar panel gives you that flexibility to know that you're going to be charging whenever you're parked in the sun. So today in this video, we want to show you how we install this panel. We're going to start with preparation, then the actual panel installation, then we'll get into wiring, and then we will do configuration of the charge controller. So if you have already purchased a hoodie from us, this is an instructional video that will show you soup to nuts how to get the panel installed successfully. And we would encourage you to not skip any steps but we do encourage you to pause along the way and back it up if you want to watch something again. Um, and this will really show you better than any written directions how to successfully install the hoodie on your vehicle. And if you're just shopping and just checking this out, welcome. We're glad to have you here. And if you have any questions about uh, Trail Power hoodies, don't hesitate to contact us. And if there's a vehicle that you'd like to see a hoodie for other than the GX470, be sure to leave a comment below. So the first step in getting your panel installed on your rig is to make sure that the surface is prepped. And I can't emphasize this enough, preparation is key and it's super important to getting good adhesion for your panel. So you can see here that we've got our vinyl installed and even if this was a fresh install, we'd want to make sure that we clean this again uh, before we do any um, installation of the panel. And so we're going to wipe this down first with a degreaser. Um, this is what I'm using here. It is a duplicate, Duplicolor Premium Cleaner Series Grease and Wax Remover. It's actually a soy-based solvent blend. And uh, I use that because it's um, not quite as harsh on the vinyl as some of the other degreasers. Once we've done that, we're going to come back over everything with... Uh, some IPA, isopropyl alcohol, um, denatured alcohol can also work. Okay, we're going to grab our panel now and we're going to bring it out here and set it in the sun. And when you carry, when you carry your panel, you want to make sure you don't overly flex it. You're going to get a little bit of flex here, but you don't want to bend it. It is, just think of it as a pane of glass, and you want to make sure you don't bend it any more than is absolutely necessary. We're going to set this on here, and you can see those tape marks there. We've put those tape marks there just to help with alignment. <clears throat> on the GX470, it has those two uh, windshield washer nozzles here, so we're just aligning with that. And that will give you... Uh, general alignment and then you can fine-tune your measurements and measure on both sides and make sure you get it to the millimeter where you want it. Now we're going to take this, we're going to leave this here in the sun to sun bake. If I put my hand on this um, hood without the panel on it, it's too hot to leave my hand there. 
and it's probably about a 75 degree day so just being in the sun this black will absorb a lot of heat and we'll get this warmed up we want the same thing for our panel um, I've just brought this from inside and uh, while you see it lays pretty well here it lays pretty flat it still puckers a bit and when you leave this in the sun this fiberglass backing on this lamination will start to soften a little bit just enough to be able to lay down really nice and flush against the hood and that's what we want we don't want to uh, stick this down while it's cold we want to stick this down while it's warm and it's pliable and uh, that will give us really good adhesion and get that tape really stuck down to our vinyl so that it lasts a long time. Okay, our next step is we're going to get this panel ready to adhere down to the vinyl. We've got uh, this softened up in the sun and you can see it's pretty flexible now. So um, it still wants to flatten out, but, it, but it's a lot more pliable as far as getting it stuck down. And this is going to be hot, so it's going to be hot on your hands, and, um, uh, but that's, that's what you want. You want this a little bit warm. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to flip this over and we're going to get our adhesive peeled back just enough so that we have some little pull tabs to, uh, to ease that off. Um, and uh, but we don't want to take it all off at once because then you'll be fighting it getting stuck where you don't intend. Because once this tape sticks, especially when it's hot out, it really sticks. So you get one shot at this. So you want to make sure that you're uh, paying attention. So we're going to flip this over. And then uh, let's go ahead and move this down, Krista. Krista's here helping me today. Trail power, Krista. <laughs> and um, okay. And uh, I'm using a razor knife. You could also use a little pick or a, a needle or something like that to get this started. And so what we're going to do is we're going to get just this little knife edge, and we're just going to get this in here and pick this, pick at this a little bit until we can get an edge of the uh, the backing to come off. It's really sticky. I got built-in tools. Yeah. Nailed. Oh, that's right. So we're only going to pull this back a little bit. We don't want to pull this back all the way. We're just going to make a little pull tab for ourselves like this. And this will keep this from being just a bunch of adhesive everywhere trying to stick down before we're ready. And then we're going to do the same thing on, the, on this one, on the sides. I'm going to pull this over. We're just going to make a little pull tab. Just like that. And then uh, same thing down here. In the next section. You want to expose as little adhesive as possible right now. And then also we've got this intersection and we're going to do the same there. Okay. So the order that we're going to stick this down, we're going to stick down the top edge first. And so we'll get this lined up, get the top edge stuck down, and then we'll get these upper sides stuck down. And then we're going to uh, move down to the, to the front, to the bottom here, which is right here. And we're going to first do the, the, inner, the inner stripe here, which is this one. And then we'll do the outer stripe, which is this one. Not this one? And then, and then we'll count, and then we'll do the um, the inner, the inner stripe on the side, and then we'll do the outer stripe on the side. Okay. So, this is from experience. I know some of you don't like to follow directions, and you're just going to want to go for it. But um, believe me, there there is a there is a, a method to this madness, and this just will help get everything stuck down evenly, and uh, and make sure that it it's lasts for the long term. So we're going to go ahead and flip this up now. Christy, you want to grab that side, lift it a little bit. We're going to line up these red pieces of tape. That's hot. It is hot.
Get this side. Okay, that looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this tape off the top here. I'm gonna hand this over to Krista and she's gonna keep pulling that across. All the way, keep going. Yep, keep going just to go slow. Pull it more straight out. Okay, all the way off. Make sure that that didn't move over there where that penny was. Looks okay to me. Okay, you can go ahead and get that stuck down across there. Pull the rest way out? Yep. Okay. And you can take off those red marks there that we had just for positioning. Don't need those anymore. Okay. So um, I'm going to grab my J-roller and we're going to just gently roll that down. You want to make sure you don't put too much pressure on this because you don't want to dent your hood. But this will help it get that good and stuck. These are available at any like Home Depot or store like that in like the laminate area. Um, if you don't have a J roller, you can just use like a micro microfiber cloth and just put some pressure on it with your hand like this as well. And, uh, and that'll work fine. But with this back stuck down, we're gonna go ahead and pull this side tab. Kind of like opening an exciting package. Yeah, it is. It is exciting. Okay, and we'll, I'll use this, and Krista can okay. use that J roller and get that stuck down nice More and top to bottom, right? Yeah, that's fine. And don't get crazy um, with the pressure because these these hoods will dent. We've learned that the hard way. Okay. It's so warm, it really wants to grab. Yeah, it does. All right. Um, now we're gonna skip. Oh, this side now, Krista, we're gonna, let's do the front. Okay. We wanna make sure that this front is really stuck down because this is where all the wind is gonna hit and uh, all the rain and whatever you're driving through is gonna hit. So we wanna make sure this gets really well stuck down. So we're gonna pull the, in, the inner one off first. Which I, it's this one. I don't think that's, oh, I guess it is. And then we'll go ahead and pull the outer one. All right, and now we want to we want to take and we want to make sure that we don't get any bubbles in here and that we that center kind of rib. Yeah, yeah get that straight center down that center column. Yep, get this pushed all the way down and forward so that it doesn't bubble at all. And push that right right down this spine here, right down the center line. Get that stuck right in the center, and then we can kind of work our way out to the corner. And do the same over here. Work our way out to this corner. Okay, um, so we can go ahead and get that J roller. Okay. And uh, we'll come across this front here. Well, that works to start it with the slidey cloth, with the micro cloth. And yeah. And, um, and so now you see we got some puckering here. And so we, we need to kind of work this out and get this, get this flex down and stuck. And uh, so we're going to work on that now. And so let's go ahead and pull our our two tabs here on both the side. Hands. Yep, okay. go ahead and pull those both out. And the puckering that you're seeing is just because, you know, this is a flat panel and we're trying to make it um, curve over a, a okay. compound curved hood. Um, so that's just part of the part of the trick here. All right, so I'm going to take and I'm going to start to work this down on this side. Get that with that cloth. And then Krista, if you want to come hit that with that J roller, I'll switch yeah. sides with you. I'm going to kind of, kind of work this down. Just like that. And you'll see that that does that does uh, curve down in there and get. Can you do it? Yeah, let's 
start with that. Thank you. So we'll come along here and make sure we get this good and stuck down. Now if there's any area in this panel where it's going to want to lift, it's probably going to be right along these sides here um, where you saw that little bit of puckering. And that curve is just pushed out more in, out into the panel. It's kind of spread out of the panel. Um, and so we want to make sure we get that really good and stuck down. And uh, we want to make sure that we leave this sitting now and, and let this sit really well and, and uh, don't go drive this for, if possible, um, it's great to let this sit for 24 hours. Uh, if you can't let it sit for 24 hours, I'd let it set for at least 12. Um, the way this tape works, it has 50% of its bonding strength in the first hour. And then after that, it goes to 80% in 24 hours. And I think it goes to 100% in like 72 hours. And so it does take some time for it to hit full strength, but it will hit, you'll see how strong it is. I mean, we could not take this back up now without tearing our vinyl, um, unless we used uh, our removal method with fishing line. Um, and so it, it's stuck. It's not going anywhere at this point. We've got this good and stuck down um, and we'll come back I come back and check this um, while it's sitting um, throughout the day and just kind of make sure that there isn't any bu air bubbles or any place that is starting to peel up. And if there is, um, I'll come back and I'll rub that down again, make sure it's good and stuck. And uh, if you do have any places that it's come up, put it back in the sun. Uh, make sure you put it back in the sun so that it can get more pliable and also so that tape gets really sticky and just wants to grab hold. Um, but I don't think you'll have an, any, any trouble if you follow the, the steps that we've shown you. Um, so that's stuck pretty good now. We're going to go ahead and leave this. We'll come back and we'll clean our panel afterwards. We'll get rid of this adhesive here with some adhesive remover um, on here and, uh, and just give the panel a good wipe down with some isopropyl alcohol to clean it up. But that's basically the install of the panel. Um, the next step is wiring and we'll jump into that next.